So in this video, I'm going to be going over the second part as to how we set up our Android device via USB for App Inventor 2. Now you'll remember in the first part for setting our device up via USB, I showed you how to download your driver onto your computer and then finally enable the USB debugging option for your phone. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can download our other two application, that's our AI starter app for our computer, and then our companion app for our phone so that we can finally get that application from App Inventor 2 up and running on our phone. So let's get into it. What's the first thing we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is we're gonna wanna navigate to the App Inventor 2 homepage. And that homepage, remember, looks just like this. Right, you might have less projects in the My Projects section, and this top right you know, email should be different, but other than that, you should be looking at what I'm looking at. Great. So from there, you're going to click on help and then get started. And then from get started, you're going to click on setup instructions. So this should be the, the page that pops up. You are going to want to click on setup instructions, which is number one. And then you're going to look for option three here in the page that pops up. So option three, it should say no Wi-Fi, build apps with an Android device and USB cable. So you'll notice this is going to be the final setup when you're working with your USB connection, right? You're going to have your computer, a USB cable running from your computer to your phone plugged in. So you're going to want to click on the instructions link in option three. From there, depending on what kind of operating system you're currently working with, you're going to click on the appropriate link under step one, install the app inventor setup software. So if you have a Mac computer, you'll click the first link, a Windows the second, and finally a Linux the third. I have a Windows operating system, so I'm gonna click the second. So I'm gonna click the second here, and then the following page, you're just gonna to wanna to click on download the installer. So number one here. Once you do that, if, if everything went properly, you should have the file downloading or the program downloading. So it's worth noting here that if you have, or depending on what kind of operating system you're working with, you're gonna install this file differently. So if you have a Mac, you'll install it one way, a Linux another, and finally Windows another way. So we're not gonna be going over actually installing this file here, but I guarantee if you were to just look for whatever your operating system with you know installation instructions in Google, you should find plenty of videos to guide you through that process. So I already actually have this program installed on my computer. So I'm going to just cancel this download and I'm going to move on to the next step. But as I said, ensure that you actually have this program installed, okay? So let it finish downloading and install it. Once you have it installed, you're going to go ahead and search for it on your computer, just like I'm doing now. So I'm going to type in, it's called AI Starter. So I'm going to say AI Starter and you'll notice if I punch that in properly, it's all one word. So you'll notice it says AI starter here. So I'm gonna click on that. And at the bottom here, you'll notice I did in fact open something up, even though it didn't pop up. It should look like a window just like this. It should say, you know, platform and then all this, you know, gibberishy text here. But you do wanna ensure that this is open. I'm gonna minimize it right now, but I'm gonna know, you know, just cause it has a little blue line at the bottom here that it is in fact open. So I just have it minimized. From there, I'm gonna move on over to my phone. And this is in fact my, my Galaxy S5. I'm just kind of running some software to show you what I'm doing. And I'm gonna click on the Google Play Store. So I'm gonna click on Play Store right here. And I'm gonna search for App Inventor 2. So I'm gonna type in App Inventor 2. And then finally, I'm gonna press Enter. And I should have a screen like this that pops up. I'm gonna click on the first app that pulls up. It says MIT AI2 Companion. From there, I should see an install button. And you should be looking at the same page. So if it doesn't look like this, you did something wrong, okay? So from there, from this page, you're gonna click on install. And then finally, you're gonna click on accept. You should give it a second to install, or download install, I should say. And once it's installed, we're gonna get rocking. We're gonna finally have our, our application working on our phone. Okay, so if everything installed properly. We're just gonna leave our phone there, okay? So now the next step is ensure that your phone is plugged into your computer, okay? So make sure you have that USB cable running from your computer to your phone. 
And then we're gonna go and we're gonna open up a project. So open up any project. I'm gonna click on project three. And then I'm going to, remember this is still open. The AI starter is still open. And then I'm going to click on connect. And then finally USB. But before I click USB, I'm gonna cross my fingers because I always tend to have a problem with this. So <laughs> wish me luck. So I'm gonna click USB. And if everything went properly, I should start to see some text pull up here. And there you have it, I, my, my fingers crossed work. So I see some text pop up and then I should see, and you'll notice to the right, that something's happening on my phone now. And it says companion starting, wait four, three, two, hopefully after one we'll see some business. So there you have it, I have my, my app running via USB uh, connection. So you'll notice if I click on various things here, that everything is in fact working. So just to recap, the way we did that was, you know, we had to download two more files, which was the AI starter file. And then we downloaded the AI companion app on our phone. And then finally to get it all working, you know, we had to click connect and then USB. And don't forget to plug it in, right? Don't forget to have that cable running from your phone to your computer, but we have just successfully connected our phones to our computers using USB and ran our app using that USB connection. So congratulations guys, I'll see you in the next video.